Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. Some very interesting developments. Iran, Greece, United States, and oil. <laughs> I think you know what I'm talking about. It was an incident uh, a few, maybe two weeks ago, when, uh, the, when Greece uh, took over a um, Iranian tanker, which had about uh, 12 Russians on board, uh, crew members and uh, full of Iranian oil. And then under the embargo of the European Union, the Greeks claimed um, they had to seize it, the navy, uh, the tanker. And then, but under no sanctions or any uh, needs, any laws, they called their boss across the Atlantic Ocean, which is the United States, which immediately came over and seized the cargo, the oil, sucked it out from the Iranian tanker, put it in another tanker, and on its way to America. Now, the Iranian says, hey, what uh, are you doing? Okay, and, and the Greek said, oh, it's just the European Union uh, uh, sanctions uh, against Russia, so we somehow uh, impounded your tanker. Iran said, okay, but why did you call the other guys to take our oil? Well, uh, you know, the European Union, you know, sanctions, repeating the same BS. And Iran said, okay, so what they do? They impounded two uh, Greek uh, tankers in the Gulf, and guess what? They started sucking the blood, sucking the oil out of those tankers, and they say, well, you took our stuff, now we take our stuff back. Yours was piracy, we just return what you stole from us. Everybody was upset. And, no, release the tankers, release the tankers. And then a, a court uh, decided, a Greek court, that um, actually uh, the uh, United States has to uh, give back the oil that it took from the uh, Iranians. I didn't hear from the, from the Americans, but nevertheless, I got some information. Guess whose oil was, was in the two Greek oil tankers? American. <laughs> so the Iranians sucked the American oil, or the oil that was going towards the United States of America. So, my God, they had some information, it seems like. So they got their, their thing back. So what is United States going to do about it? Or Greece, for that matter. So we have this from NBC News. Uh, from June 10th, 2022, by Dan De Luce and Courtney Kube and Carol E. Lee. Oh, three people. Phew. And this is the title. Greek oil tanker seized by Iran holds oil that was headed to the U.S. Yeah, you took ours, we take yours. Right? Should be fair, shouldn't they? Oh, only you can take uh, our oil? We can't? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, as the price of gas in the United States rises, a Greek oil tanker that was seized by Iran holds tens of thousands of gallons of oil worth more than $100 million that were headed to Texas, according to an administration official and a former administration official. So, an administration official and a former one. So, we got two. In late, in late May, the tanker Prudent Warrior was traveling from Iraq to the U.S. Oh, Iraq! The country that now has both freedom and democracy. Coca-Cola, McDonald's, right? Yeah, 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 okay. They live a nice life over there, in, in, I heard, in, in Iraq nowadays. But it seems they do business with uh, their... Uh, are they still occupiers over there or no? There's not a word. Uh, freedom fighters, freedom protectors. <laughs> Oh, my. Let's use some nice euphemisms here, okay? So, in uh, that they when Iran seized it in international waters in the Persian Gulf and led it into Iranian territorial waters. And I'm quoting: "We have no comment on the destination of the ship or the oil, and we have no comment on our diplomatic engagement." End quote. A Department of State spokesman said, adding that Washington condemned the Revolutionary Guard's May 27 seizure of the 
two Greek flagged vessels. And I'm quoting, the United States continues to stand with Greece, our key NATO ally and partner in the face of this unjustified seizure. <laughs> seizure. So the United States, yeah, I'm quoting, continues to stand with Greece, our key NATO ally and partner in the face of this unjustified seizure. All right, so it was totally unjustified. Anyway, so um, they, they seize this with helicopters in the Persian Gulf, the Iranians, uh, and it says that uh, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said that Iran confiscated the tankers in retaliation for Greece, helping the U.S. seize an Iranian flagged tanker with crude oil in the Mediterranean Sea in April. Greek authorities last month impounded the Iranian flag Pegas with 19, not 12. I have the 12 the second time I made the same mistake. Somehow for me it's 12, not 19. Nevertheless, 19, 12, 7 shouldn't even matter. Those are employees, what the hell. So 19 Russian crew members on board near the coast of the southern island of Evia due to European Union sanctions. Okay, but the United States is not, is not a European Union country. So why did you immediately, hey, 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 come over. <laughs> I'm alone. 999-333-5479, whatever. The U.S. later confiscated the Iranian oil cargo held on board, according to Reuters. Why? On Wednesday, a Greek court reportedly reversed the decision that allowed the U.S. to confiscate the oil. Experts, I like experts, because we're dumb, they tell us what to believe and what to think about everything. Okay, so let's see what the experts say. Experts say the oil on each tanker seized by Iran is worth well over $100 million. Well, I believe them because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> and they inform us. So <clears throat> the experts are trustworthy. Ah, the, seizure the seizures come, for, uh, come as tensions between the US and Iran continue to escalate as hope of revigorating the 2015 nuclear deal with Iran fade. All right, yeah, I know they're looking for a uh, they're looking for a reason to uh, do something with Iraq, with Iran, with Iran, um, our uh, best allies in the Middle East are very focused on that, uh, and that is the state of uh, Israel. And um, there were some assassinations in Iran where uh, um, the, our allies, the best allies in the Middle East, is the state of Israel. Um, claim responsibility. Uh, there was a, there were two generals, uh, or no, a general, a colonel, and a scientist, and they claimed the responsibility for one or two, and the other one they kept their mouth shut. But nevertheless, but it, it's fine. It's all good. I mean, it's a democratic. It's the only democracy in the Middle East. Oh, I thought it was the uh, Iraq because we brought democracy and justice and freedom over there. So I think there's two now. <laughs> Unbelievable, funny, not. So let's see what's gonna happen. So now the, will they say, okay, now the Iranians took their side that we took, the, the quantity that we took, or what? The, the Iranians gonna put back the oil and the Americans gonna put back the oil and, and then gonna swap the tankers? I don't know. But what the United States gonna do about it? We'll find out. Who's escalating? Well, as in the Bible, who's gonna throw the first stone or rock? Well, someone already did. They, oh, it was Iran because it didn't follow orders, and that's why these guys play sanctions on them. Oh, I, I got it, I got it. Oh, the nuclear deal, I got that one too, but they don't have any nuclear weapons. Oh, these guys have, but they dropped two of them, the only country. Okay, but they are morally superior to the Iranians, right? Yeah, okay, I got it. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.